Assalamualaikum kepada semua followers di Harimau Malaya Ok so hari ni bersama dengan saya Myra Host anda Dan sekarang ni mesti ramai tengah musim bercuti di rumah Dan anak-anak ada cuti sekolah kan semua So sambil-sambil cuti tu layanlah podcast kita orang untuk hari ni Ok so hari ni kita ada dua tetamu cantik yang kita uh, jemput untuk korang hari ni uh, So siapa gerangannya gadis yang cantik ni hari ni <laughs> Ok so dia orang ni merupakan atlet equestrian So ok So hi, hi you guys. Apa khabar hey, sihat semua? Hey, sihat. So yeah. sekarang mood bercuti juga ke? <laughs> tak. Mm, tak, really. tak. Not really. You you are working kan? Yes, I am. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm. And you still still riding. Still, still riding. Yeah. Okay. So before we start maybe you can uh, introduce yourself uh, nama, umur dan uh, kategori in what you guys doing in the uh, equestrian. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, saya start dulu. Ya. Yeah, so sure. nama saya Khadija Shafi'i. Mm-hmm. Saya umur 23 tahun dan saya dalam sukan kuda saya buat dressage. Dressage okey. Ah uh, nama saya ada Khan. Uh, saya berumur 18. Ah uh, at the moment I'm very interested in show jumping but uh, saya still buat just a bit of dressage. Mm-hmm. Okey, so kita start dengan Khadija dulu lah okey. Okey, ah uh, Khadija dah berapa lama dah? Uh, ceburi bidang ni dan and uh, adakah macam sebab parents mendorong ke, uh, parents influence or memang you sendiri ada minat untuk nak join sukan ni ok so hmm. saya start kuda dari tahun 2008 hmm. tapi uh, sebab saya banyak pindah-pindah tempat hmm. and banyak juga aksiden kuda jadi selalunya I have to start again so dari 2000, 2008 sampai sekarang is around 15 tahun. 15 tahun. 15 tahun. Lama tu yeah. guys, lama 15 Tapi, tahun. Tapi uh, my progress might be slower mm-hmm. and that's okay I think. Um sebab mm-hmm. dah patah tiga kali. Oh, and then kena restart balik all the time. Patah tulang. Dah patah tulang. Oh, so bagian bagian so kaki, kaki, uh, bahu and apa? Hmm. Tiga-tiga tahun yang berbeza. Um, so <coughs> berapa lama ambil masa nak recovery tu? So yang kaki ni paling lama so, hmm. sebab saya dalam hospital untuk 2 bulan hmm. And then pakai kas untuk sebulan, pakai tongkat And then kena belajar nak jalan balik hmm. So dalam 4-5 bulan 4-5 bulan So apa yang mendorong uh, Khadijah balik untuk nak menyertai sukan ni balik Kan kalau kita dah patah tulang, patah mesti kita macam rasa down Eh tak hmm. nak lah aku macam <laughs> dah give up kan eh, Apa yang mendorong Khadijah nak sertai semula sukan ni So dulu at first bila hmm. lepas uh, jatuh yang patah kaki tu Nak start balik naik kuda tu memang trauma hmm. Tengok kuda je nangis Memang <laughs> tak nak tengok kuda langsung Tapi slowly um, my parents hmm. put me in pony club hmm. Maksudnya just bersihkan kuda, main main kuda So slowly that's how I gain my confidence hmm. back kalau boleh waktu dulu tak nak Tak nak uh, start balik Tapi my parents force me lah Takkan nak stop waktu kita takut kan hmm. Time tu dah berapa lama dah Dah masuk bidang equestrian ni um, Accident tu 2009 So hmm. setahun Setahun okay. So memang dah join setahun so, Kalau nak give up pun memang dah hmm. Macam rugi lah kan hmm. okay. So parents banyak mendorong Khadijah hmm. okay. Dia orang sendiri ada ke dia orang um, juga join equestrian ni ataupun dia orang memang uh, memang sendirilah kerja um, satu keluarga saya memang naik kuda oh. my uh, abah dengan mak pun naik kuda hmm. tapi sekarang ni dia orang dah tak naik sangatlah hmm. cuma kerja aja so macam berapa banyak sibling sekali ada kita orang semua enam orang hmm. uh, semua enam 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 semua right tapi yang uh, yang buat buat serius uh, kerja lah hmm. yang adik semua Sebulan sekali It's a hobby lah ha. Okay Alright So macam Alia pula Okay Alia macam mana uh, Memang join sukan ni uh, Sebab Dorongan daripada family Or memang you sendiri Memang minat sukan ni Dari awal uh, Memang my parents Usually really used to ride uh, Before I was born They've been riding for about 25 years mm-hmm. But well, When When I Was a kid I wasn't really That interested in it Because uh, Time to I was also doing cheerleading mm, yeah, okay. So I was, I was very committed To cheerleading And I wasn't really Willing Not try something new Even though Like 
dia orang selalu ask like oh do you want to start horse riding aku cakap no but then i don't know lah one one random day i macam teringin mm-hmm. nak just try then after i said i tried once i was like okay maybe i'll do this regularly just a bit just as hobby mm-hmm. but then after that it's like you i jatuh cinta with the sport dah jatuh cinta yeah. <laughs> so yeah after that it's just like something natural already mm-hmm. like second nature now So okay, um, memang nak join ni sebab join cheerleading juga kan yeah. Cheerleading pun ada banyak, <coughs> bukan senang juga suka cheerleading tu yeah. Mungkin boleh cedera juga yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan suka ni pun suka yang lasak So yeah. why why you join this? Mungkin um, you, I, are, you, are you seorang yang lasak ke? Not really Not really? <laughs> yeah, I I get injured quite easily, quite mm. often Tapi I feel like dengan When I was in cheer, I liked it because it was a team sport. Mm. But in riding also, I like it because it's a team sport with, but with an animal. So mm. you have to try harder to bond with the animal before you can even work with it. Mm. Yeah. So sampai sekarang, you still join cheerleading? No. No. So at this school lah saja lah. Yeah, just when I was in school. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maira nak tanya lah, uh, pengalaman korang pertama kali ride uh, kuda. So macam Maira hari tu pergi tricky way constraint <coughs> kan ada uh, nak interview Kabil. Uh-huh. I was there tu. when you guys were Oh you guys, yeah. you were there so yeah. you saw me yeah, yeah. nak ride kuda. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay actually that time. Memang uh, Myra time tu takut lah sebab tengok yeah. saiz kuda tu besar first, first first And then, yeah, not oh. my first time but then kuda yang besar ya, it's oh. my first time lah Untuk tengok macam, weh saiz kuda ni besar sangat ni, aku mm. ni saiz kecil <laughs> Nanti jatuh nanti, tapi dah dia offer kan, uh, Mr. Kabe offer So, kita just naik Okay, so macam korang ada tak rasa macam uh, takut lah perasaan first first time nak menggang kuda tu ada rasa macam ni Tok, kati jam, mungkin start kati jam Actually, waktu awal-awal start, tak ada rasa takut langsung mm. Tapi, as years go on, macam sekarang buat mm. competition um, Rasa takut tu semakin ada mm. Waktu dulu-dulu, waktu start memang tak ada mm. So, macam uh, kuda uh, Memang tengok kuda tu rasa macam kucing lah, hewan peliharaan mm. So, tak ada takut langsung kan? Mm. Eh? Mm. Tak, tak ada Kejap Alia memang I, ada uh, I agree with her, in, in the beginning memang tak ada takut sangat Tapi, mm. like lagi lama you dalam industri ni, you boleh tengok like the dangers of it, baru you rasa macam oh, that that could really happen to anyone mm-hmm. so it makes you pun nervous especially kalau you personally ada experience something bad happen mm-hmm. it will be something that unfortunately you kena carry lah mm-hmm. even okay. while you ride also you, you're still gonna be scared sometimes okay. so macam Alia pernah cedera juga sebelum pernah, ni? pernah, patah hidung kan oh patah hidung, uh-huh. so pernah kena surgery ke? tak, tak, <laughs> tak pernah lagi <laughs> Okay. Uh, kalau ada perasaan takut tu kan <laughs> Apa yang Alia buat lah untuk nak hilangkan perasaan takut uh, tu Banyak training I I think for me like I jenis orang yang I ada anxiety mm-hmm. So bila I naik especially kuda baru I I get very nervous and scared Like dengan my horse Fabio I'm mm-hmm. not usually scared when I ride mm-hmm. Only bila compete But um like with new horses that I haven't had much experience or much time with I get very nervous and anxious when I naik kuda tu because like I I don't know what their limit is so I don't mm. really know what they can do mm. because they, they might be able to do something mm. that will scare me but for me um, something that I have to do is I just have to do it even if I'm scared mm. because there's not really much that I can do but mm. I try to just focus mm. on what I need to do while I ride like how I need to sit, what I need to do with my legs and my hands mm. and it helps to get my mind off of it I'm still nervous but it helps like I just have to try and trust mm. the horse keep training yeah, yeah. Really. yeah. okay so macam Alia dah start suka ni dari tahun 2018 Khadijah 2008 kan okay so mesti confirm banyak pengalaman uh, yang manis, pengalaman pahit so mungkin boleh share with us uh, pengalaman-pengalaman tu Khadijah boleh share dulu dengan kita the best memory dulu mm. eh. um best memory is bila i get to ride horses with my friends mm-hmm. <coughs> because usually sometimes when kita ride kuda selalunya seorang dengan kuda kan mm. tapi kalau dapat ride dengan kawan-kawan itu lagi best lah because dia orang boleh tengok cara kita ride mm-hmm. uh but other than that it's just usually bond dengan kuda-kuda mm-hmm. um itulah best memory Tapi as for not so good memory mm. are the accidents lah Accidents Okay, so macam Alia pula macam ni? I think for me 
uh, the best memory, maybe it's uh, when I cleared our first uh, big class with my boss. Cause mm. um, big class. Yeah, mm. just one meter. Oh, <laughs> that's big for us. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but um, I was very impressed because we might not expect that this horse can clear that height mm. at like a whole course. So I was very surprised that he helped me out throughout the whole course. Because even at the moment, young, I didn't really do my best, but mm -hmm. he still tried to help me out and he cleared the jump for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, among the worst <laughs> memories is probably, like Khadija said, accidents. Because mm -hmm. I've fallen off a few times with Fabio and with my new horse as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So actually, aku suka ni bukan suka yang senang. Tengok, <laughs> banyak accident, yeah, accident jadi semua. So, yeah, okay. Uh, so macam Khadijah Okay uh, Alia Join Chili Ding hmm. So macam Khadijah ada tak Join sukan lain Selain daripada Sukan equestrian ni uh, So selain equestrian Khadijah buat swimming uh -huh. uh, Dulu Khadijah Waktu duduk Dekat Oman uh, Khadijah Compete Untuk sekolah Dekat hmm. Oman And Khadijah pergilah uh, Macam Sekolah-sekolah lain hmm. Even ke Dubai Untuk competition Uh, but other than that, sekarang ni hiking tak pinter hmm. So pernah tak uh, selama join sukan ni rasa macam Eh did I do the right choice? Uh, macam maybe I should join other sports ke Sebab kan dah kalau dah accident banyak kali mesti ada rasa Ada tak rasa macam give up ke time tu? Sometimes bila kita frustrated dengan kuda Or things didn't go well during our training mm -hmm. Of course um, ada rasa nak give up tu uh, Sometimes I always say Alia I want to give up But then, um, I always find my way back to the stable. Mm -hmm. um, even though tak naik kuda, but you just walk on the kuda. Mm. Then after a while, when you gain that confidence back, somehow I, I will always end up back on the horse. Mm -hmm. So okay, mungkin korang boleh share dekat followers macam mana korang boleh berkenalan dua. <laughs> <laughs> mungkin melalui training ke atau yeah, maybe you can share with us. Alright, so um, like as mentioned. Uh, dapat tadi kali hmm. uh, kali pertama 2009 and then yang ni 2017 and 2018 waktu 2018 kita orang berdua dekat Kiara Equestrian Stable uh, I was doing jumping and then jatuh uh, landed on my hand so patah and then Alia came with her mother maybe you want to tell us the experience because I was I was The Ma I lah. was yeah. the yeah. so maybe, maybe you yeah. wanna yeah, you tell can them share with how us. it was? Because her coach, uh, we're all really close with her coach. So when her coach came to tell us that she fell, we, mm. like she was on a motorbike rushing to her, which mm. I think she went to go get something for her while she fell. And then <coughs> when we came mm. and we saw her, she was lying down, but she was just on Instagram live. <laughs> So oh, I was I basically was doing Instagram live. Yeah. Instagram live. Yeah, because I was waiting for the ambulance <laughs> and they said don't move. I can't even drink water. So I just lay down and did Instagram yeah. live. Mm. And like that was like the first time we properly talked and then after that only we started getting close because mm. uh bef before that my mom we were both uh training at Kiara together mm. but we just never really talk to each other mm, just because of like, the accident lah so yeah. actually ada something good behind it also like, you yeah. guys know each other kan yeah. <laughs> okay so okay so like for your guys punya opinion lah kan pelibatan uh, uh, wanita lah dalam sukan equestrian ni sebab kita tahu sukan ni sukan yang lasak so macam korang training ni ada tak banyak tengok banyak uh, girls joining training or lagi banyak lelaki yang join suka equestrian ni? Yeah, mostly, mostly girls. Mostly yeah. girls. Mm -hmm. But you see like all of the girls in this sport even though they're on like other that success certain girls that is like takut-takut mm. and certain girls that are more brave than the others. Mm. Tapi one thing that all the girls in ha have in common is they're on super kuat to mm. tahan the horse. Mm -hmm. yeah. So actually it's quite surprising lah because I ingat banyak lelaki lagi join yeah, sukan yeah. ni tapi macam banyak girls. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah they must be tough lah. Yeah. Kan you guys mesti tough yeah. and mesti kuat. Because like for guys the strength to like the strength that you have is natural. So mm. for for girls you have to work twice as hard sometimes. Mm. Yeah. So okay apa tanggapan kawan-kawan korang lah yang tak join sukan ni apa tanggapan orang bila uh, tahu korang join ada orang macam Oh, this girl is very strong lah Join suka ni Ada tak tanggapan yang macam tu? 
ada yang tanya is it even a sport yeah because oh. you just sit on a horse hmm. uh, but then it's actually not easy yeah okay. and, cakap, <laughs> and then i asked them nak cuba tak then, hmm. then sometimes if they go for joy right that's when they know lah cuba dulu baru tahu <laughs> Okay, so what about you? Ada tak uh, anything um, yang tanggapan of, macam tu? There are some of my friends who also ask like is it really a sport mm. and like how is it a sport but the the thing that I like is that even though they ask that kind of question when I explain it to them, they actually listen mm. so they understand it. It's just, they only say that because like it's not out of ignorance, it's just they don't really tak tahu anything. Mm. Mm. So maybe you guys play edu- educate yeah, orang yeah, lah yeah. yang lebih kan? <coughs> Okay, so macam Khadijah, Khadijah pernah tinggal kat Oman kan? Yeah. Okay, mungkin boleh share sikit pengalaman Khadijah dekat Oman, training, apa beza dengan dekat Malaysia, maybe um, dari segi cuaca atau lain-lain. So, dekat hmm. Oman, temperature selalu 40 degrees, 40 hmm. plus. So, uh, panas. Hmm. And waktu tu Khadijah masih kat sekolah lagi. Hmm. So, Khadijah akan balik sekolah and then pergi kuda waktu malam. Usually, the class or the training is in group. Mm. Uh, compared to Malaysia, Malaysia basically focus on individual training. Mm. Kita ada group lesson but mostly individual. Mm. Kat Oman it's um, group and not much individual training. Mm. So mungkin kat Malaysia tak ramai yang join ke sebab tu individual ada faktor macam tu ke? Ataupun memang just uh, cara dia macam maybe tu? Maybe that could be one of the factor. Mm-hmm. Tapi usually kat Malaysia ramai suka individual training sebab kita dapat fokus lebih hmm. especially when we want to compete right hmm. uh, kalau dekat Oman tak ada banyak competition hmm. so kita selalu ride untuk hobi untuk kawan so ride uh, pada waktu malam ke sebab cuaca yang panas ya yeah. uh, ok so dalam pukul 8 uh, tujuh. so kat sana malam awal hmm. so orang 5, 6 5, 6 dah gelap dah kat Oman hmm. ah, ok so kita baru tahu lah hmm. pasal tu Okay, so uh, untuk Alia pula, Alia pernah tak uh, train dekat luar negara uh, untuk I question? I had some experience, I did kat sini for about 3 months Because mm-hmm. uh, I wanted to get some of my certificates for riding, horse management and even coaching mm. Yeah, um, it, it's a very different experience there than it is here Because mm-hmm. like there as well, I was, I was there bila time winter So a very sejuk mm-hmm. And I think something the biggest difference yang I noticed while I was there is Kat sana diorang jarang biarkan kuda dalam stable hmm. Kuda selalu duduk kat paddock like 24 7 oh. Are there any reason for that? Um, I think it's just kind of because it's their natural habitat It's good for them because hmm. especially time winter kalau diorang sejuk They can just warm themselves up by running hmm. And it's good for their muscles as well And it's they have access to 24 hours grass hmm. and forage so Alia rasa dekat sana lagi lebih selesa untuk yeah. training ataupun dekat Malaysia? Uh, I, I For me, I think it's here but it's because it's like home already. Hmm, yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay, so macam Alia sendiri, Alia train dekat mana kalau dekat Malaysia? Sebab nampak dekat Instagram Alia ada dekat 3Q. Yeah, Pasti, kan? I okay, train so. at 3Q most mm-hmm. the time. Yeah, because my horses are there but I also have two horses at the polo club. Mm-hmm. But I don't go there as often. Okay, so kita tahu uh, Tricky Equestrian dimiliki oleh Kabe Lambak So, uh, d- adakah dia pun jadi personal trainer Alia ataupun uh, just No, but he's someone I can hmm. look up to and like when he rides there, I can watch his riding and learn from it as well hmm. So, is he your idol, one of your idols? Yeah, one of them Yeah, again. okay uh, Cakap so kuda, how many horse you have? Berapa banyak kuda dia? <laughs> uh, I have around four or five horses one <laughs> one of the five horses is my mom so oh. don't really come so more the cat trick you question uh no uh oh. three of them are in trick you and there's two in the polo club two in the polo club okay so uh dia macam sewa monthly lah untuk nak letak kuda dekat trick you question yeah. eh okay what about kadija macam mana Berapa mm-hmm. banyak kuda yang ada? Kadijah ada satu kuda je mm. and sekarang kuda tu dekat Taman Equestrian Putra Jaya mm. Okay, so Khadija train dekat mana kalau kat Malaysia ni? Uh, dekat Pencerjaya Equestrian uh-huh. uh, tapi sebelum ni dekat Kiara Kiara Equestrian uh-huh. Okay, so okay uh, Sukan Equestrian ni ada banyak kategori ada dre- dressage kan? Dressage. Betul tak pronunciation? Betul, betul. Dressage, okay dressage, show jumping So mungkin uh, korang boleh cerita macam mana korang boleh masuk dalam kategori each kategori tu berminat nak join kategori tu 
Mungkin dah pernah test semua kategori ke uh, ah, Macam mana? Maybe we, we, we can start okay. first okay. So sebelum ni kerja memang start dulu on dressage uh-huh. Sebab kat Oman kita fokus more on dressage uh, Tapi bila pindah kata uh, Tukar ke jumping uh-huh. Sebab kat kata tak buat dressage uh-huh. But bila pindah ke Malaysia And all this while dah patah tiga kali uh-huh. So my mom, my parents memang cakap kalau boleh jangan buat jumping lah, mm-hmm. buat besar sebab okay, you can agree that show jumping is more riskier jumping than Jumping lagi actually difficult ke? Um, it's Both it's not more difficult but mm-hmm. it's just more room for accidents mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. that is dressage because okay. like especially dressage if you jatuh it's kind of just there there's nothing for you to fall on mm-hmm. but jumping sometimes you can fall in the hole mm-hmm. on the fence mm-hmm. So macam Alia pula, uh, macam mana like, why do you choose show um, jumping? For, for me, I like both, mm-hmm. but I like jumping more because it gives me more of an adrenaline. Because um, memang for me and a lot of coaches that uh, train here, mm-hmm. they always advise you to focus on dressage first mm-hmm. until you get the basics of it, then you start jumping. Mm-hmm. So I have done a little bit of both and I still do dressage now and then, but I prefer jumping because it gives me like more of a rush mm. from it, yeah. So, there's lah, ada lagi satu event, eventing. Yeah. Uh, eventing. Eventing, you guys pernah try juga? Uh, actually, tak pernah mm. because we don't do it here. Yeah, we don't do it here. Mm. I, I, dulu, there was more but now there's not so much. Mm. But I have tried a little bit of it. When they had, they did a small course at Kiara, mm. I tried just a little bit mm. with my horse. Mm. It's okay. So, actually for beginners, Like macam mana dia orang akan ajar dressage dulu ke ataupun ada yeah. basic dulu yang dia orang akan ajar ke Mami dia teach like some basics of dressage basic. first, yeah. So macam hari tu Baira naik kuda tu Is that like beginner ke untuk beginner ataupun dia ada cara lain <coughs> untuk kalau yang nak start kelas lah untuk beginner um, For beginner, because yeah, mm. Alia did coaching, mm. oh, did coaching. Yes, you yeah. start on the lunging oh. that one. So it's basically it's just there's a rope that's attached to your horse's gear, mm. and you go in a circle. So the trainer has control of your horse. Mm. So what you have to do is focus on your position and on your rhythm of the horse. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, cakap saya kuda kan. Mm. Okay. Uh, macam Kabir Ambak, tuah kuda Rosenstock sebanyak bagi tuah kat dia lah yeah. Sebab baru ni menang Asian Game, dapat gold medal So macam you guys pula macam mana ada tak uh, kuda yang favourite lah Dia macam Khadijah ada satu je, apa nama kuda tu? Uh, right now, uh-huh. Najma Najma, mm. ok yang Alia? Alia ada five, so yeah. yang mana satu favourite? Uh, Fabio is definitely my favourite uh, mm. But it's, it's not really cause of anything more than He makes me feel very safe, mm. like, because uh, I've had him the longest. I've had him for five years. I rasa macam I boleh buat apa pun dengan dia pun dia takkan buat benda bodoh. Mm. I boleh percaya dia to try new things, uh, be in new places. Mm. Like, uh, the rest of my horses, the one that my mom rides is also safe. That was mm. one of my favorite as well. But the other three, they are also new and young, mm-hmm. so they are a bit <laughs> not. How so old is Fabio? What age is he? Fabio is fifteen. Fifteen years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so macam kalau kuda start umur berapa yang boleh start uh, nak masuk competition untuk train kuda? Uh, maybe around 4 years old. 4 years But old. There's a there's a specific limit for it. Hmm. Like at 4 years old they cannot be jumping too high or anything. Hmm. So macam Fabio start umur berapa dia dah, uh, dah train? He's an ex race. So we got him when he was I think 12. Hmm. Oh, no, sorry, 10. 10 or 10. So around 5 years lah dia yeah, dah training years. eh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so dari segi penjagaan kuda yang kita tahu nak jaga kuda ni kos yang tinggi Dari segi makanan, <coughs> kandang semua nak sewa kan So macam mana korang berdua manage lah nak untuk penjagaan kuda ni Mungkin boleh share sikit Khadija uh, boleh share sikit Okay, um, it's so in terms of penjagaan kuda uh, Usually my parents will manage the expenses mm-hmm. but kalau Khadija Khadija manage um, order makanan in terms of the vet or the apa ni kasut kuda kasut nak mm. pa- panggil orang untuk you know hantar makanan itu Khadija buat tapi in terms of expenses it will be my parents so agak-agak cost macam in monthly lah berapa agak-agak cost untuk nak penjagaan oh. kuda ni uh, it varies because depends on 
what you need per month kalau ada vet uh, maybe the price will be different mm-hmm. um, also makanan kalau each month you nak order lebih or like lebih sikit but mm-hmm. usually how much does it take Alia? Uh, few thousand few thousand dah yeah. untuk sebulan yeah. uh-huh. so makanan yang bagi dekat kuda tu makanan jenis apa eh? selalu kita bagi um, uh, hay hay uh-huh. we give cube oats yang tu semua imported kan? Ya yes. uh, Sebab kat, kat, kat Malaysia memang tak ada So memang kena import Ya yeah. uh, Okay Okay uh, Sekarang nak cakap uh, mengenai pencapaian korang berdua pula lah uh, Mungkin korang boleh share pencapaian korang yang uh, korang pernah capai dari sukan ni Dari kecil sampai sekarang Ataupun mana-mana pelibatan dalam mana-mana competition Let's start dari kerja Okay so um In Malaysia, kita ada few in-house competition and big competitions uh, all throughout the year. Mm-hmm. So Khadija always try untuk join. Sebab kerja kan kadang-kadang tak boleh nak join. Um, also tengok keadaan kuda. Mm-hmm. So uh, this year, tahun 2023, maybe tahun yang paling sikit Khadija masuk competition lah mm-hmm. kot. Sebab busy with kerja. But tahun sebelum-sebelum ni, when Khadija belajar, waktu first masuk kerja, Kerja masuk every 2-3 months mm-hmm. And the most recent achievement is ta- Tahun lepas, annual house show That was like one of the biggest show of the year lah in Malaysia uh, Kerja dapat first place for Josaj mm, okay. But it's good But uh, that horse uh, is one of my favorite horse mm. So I think um, despite whatever level it was I think it was a big achievement for me because mm. I like that ho- I love that horse mm. very dearly. Ni horse yang uh, Khadija punya. Ah uh, tak ni kuda lain. Oh, kuda Khadija dia baru dia. dapat kuda yang ni mm. yang baru. So Khadija belum pernah compete lagi dengan kuda Khadija. Mm. Tapi insyaallah very soon. So ada train kuda juga every day lah. Ada. Mm. So for Alia Chun. Uh, alhamdulillah I have I've had the opportunity to buy exchange programs. Mm-hmm. For I've gone to Singapore and I've also gone to Indonesia to compete. So we get to use horses from Indonesia and Singapore, which mm-hmm. are different horses. We only have a day to try before. Mm-hmm. So I've gotten to ride some really nice horses there. I've only had the opportunity to go twice, I think. Mm-hmm. But both times, Alhamdulillah, they didn't go too bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I've had really good experiences competing here as well. Mm-hmm. I've had a few placings in show jumping and dressage and um, the most recent one that I got placing was uh, the last show mm. it was uh, I think last month mm. I got second place in a jumping show and then in May as well I placed first and a few more placings in dressage as well mm. <coughs> so um, macam Adia pernah compete dekat luar tak? competition so, competition nak na- event apa mungkin Malaysia sikit Um, in exchange program, you have to do dressage and show jumping. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I went to Singapore, the rule was you have to use the same horse for dressage mm-hmm. and show jumping, and you your points are counted with your partner, mm-hmm. but they ride their own horse. So that's how it was in Singapore. But in Indonesia, they gave you one jumping horse for you to share with your partner, and then one dressage horse for you to share mm-hmm. with your partner, and then your points are counted. So actually, satu i different event ni memang dia rules dia lain-lain yes. lah. Yeah. Uh-huh, okay. It's but the the whole point is like it's a borrowed horse competition so you use someone else's horse. You only have like maybe half an hour 45 minutes to feel how it is with the horse the day before and then the next day you have to compete already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so macam okay Khadija okay, berapa lama kalau um, masuk competition kalau dia orang bagi kuda then berapa lama ambil masa agak-agak nak nak ada chemistry dengan kuda tu? So selalunya hmm. kalau uh, Khadija bukan guna kuda sendiri, hmm. Khadija usually train one week before hmm. uh, every day to uh, try the horse. Tapi usually kalau in Alia's case, hmm. maybe one hour, forty five minutes before. Oh. But then it kadang-kadang susah nak dapat chemistry tu. Tapi we'll try our best. Yeah. <laughs> Itulah sebab uh, macam Sukai dia pun bukan just kita punya skill juga kan Dia kuda juga beri peranan penting kan yeah. 
Yeah. And then uh, Mungkin korang boleh cerita sikit lah Pengalaman korang uh, sebelum Memenangi pertandingan tu Apa yang korang buat Apa rahsia menang pertandingan tu Mungkin uh, That time you Latih lagi Training rutin Lain sikit ke Daripada yang sebelum ni Mungkin boleh share sikit mm. Usually Our training is just the same Like uh, se- Kalau bukan competition pun mm-hmm. Tapi One secret that Um Everyone don't know about us that we get very scared before yeah. the competition. Even Takut like sangat. a week or two weeks before, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it just like starts keeping you. You cannot sleep. Mm-hmm. Or Takut sometimes. sebab macam mana cakap tak uh, nak perform ke ataupun chemistry dengan kuda. So, chemistry. Sometimes it's to perform so because mm-hmm. you feel a lot of pressure to do well because mm-hmm. sometimes when you don't do well you feel like you're letting your horse down. Mm-hmm. But a lot of it is also like. Especially if you've had like a bad few weeks with your horse, mm. you feel very nervous because you you just afraid to get hurt or something. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, uh, cakap saya cita-cita pula lah. Okay, you guys punya ambition macam kadi jab sekarang bekerja. Yeah, bekerja. So okay, ada tak apa cita-cita nak uh, ke peringkat lebih tinggi macam <coughs> nak masuk Asian Games ke macam kau yang bawa ataupun ke Olympic? Insyaallah, mm-hmm. one day if there is a chance. Um, but Kadijah cuma plan in terms of dalam equestrian life just to have fun, um, mm. you know, bond with the horses, compete. Kalau ada opportunities macam mm. yeah. So sekarang ni Kadijah macam treat ni more like hobby lah. Yes. Mm. So macam Alia lain pula kan. Alia <laughs> memang nak jadi athlete equestrian. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so apa target Alia lepas ni? Mungkin um, nak join Asian Games, Olympic. I I hope that one day I can get there, but I'll start slowly with C Games or something. Mm. Just slowly. Just even now, like with my new horse, I just want to slowly get up to the bigger classes, like the one mm. thirties, and then maybe kalau ada rezeki, insyaallah one day we can go to C Games or Asian mm. Games, mm. even Olympics maybe. <laughs> Alright, so okay, cakap pasal idola pula Okay, siapa idola <laughs> Alia? Um, she's a rider, she's a very famous rider uh. Her name is Jessica Springsteen Okay yeah. Jessica uh, Springsteen, they're from US, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. from US Ah, she's actually also Gucci ambassador So Alia ada tak cita-cita nak jadi model juga ke? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't really have any hopes about uh, me But actually, physical Alia ni boleh actually <laughs> jadi model Ah. Uh. So okay, macam Khadijah pula? Um, Edwina uh, Alexander, she's Edwina. Australian. Australian So she does show jumping uh-huh. uh, Walaupun kerja tak buat show jumping Tapi kerja look up to her in terms of riding um, And her love for horses hmm. Setakat ni lah, uh, apa yang korang nampak perkembangan sukan equestrian ni kat Malaysia As a uh, equestrian athlete, maybe korang pendapat korang lah untuk Perkembangan suka ni dekat Malaysia sekarang. Um, I think mm. it's slowly starting to get bigger because more people are mm. getting interested, more people are educating themselves. Tapi um, something yang I think orang tak tahu yet mm. is um, nak jaga kuda ni, nak beli kuda, nak jaga kuda is actually very expensive. Kuasa tinggi. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes orang just beli kuda and they don't think about the future hmm. so there's there's tends to be a lot of problems where the horses get abandoned or they're not taken care of properly hmm. because the owner cannot afford to hmm. okay so macam dari segi sambutan pula sebab kita tahu uh, sukan equestrian tak macam uh, popular macam bola pula hmm. sepak badminton hmm. so dari segi sambutan pula macam mana rasa you guys rasa macam mana hmm. puas hati tak dengan sambutan yang ada dekat Malaysia ni um, I think dulu hmm. sambutan uh, Equestrian kuda lagi Lagi Meriah, meriah yeah. Compared to now But now you can see it slowly Coming back yeah, up back. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, Hoping that we'll see that in the next few years Okay So okay uh, Apa nasihat korang Dekat uh, Ada adik-adik sana ke Yang nak start uh, Suka Equestrian ni Tapi uh, Rasa takut-takut ke Mungkin korang dah Dah pernah join competition, ada nasihat yang korang boleh bagi dekat dia orang? Kita orang pun actually takut, uh, takut <laughs> lah. <laughs> Sebab even though we are, sometimes we think we are ready but then horses are unpredictable. Hmm. They can, you know, they, it's not just our lives, it's their lives as well. Hmm. So sometimes when we are in good mood, they are not. 
Oh, penting apa pun. So, um, so macam mana nak kekalkan konsistensi tu? Sometimes it's just a matter of even even if you both are not having a good day also you have to continue and you always mm. have to end it on a good note no matter mm. what. And even like as a rider, kita orang pun memang selalu takut. There's so many top riders pun dia orang takut, dia orang like have breakdowns sebelum competition. Mm. But it's just you still have to carry on no matter what. Okay. Dan sukan ni pun memang tak ada had umur yeah. So pernah sembang dengan KB lambat tu Dia cakap umur 70 pun boleh join lagi yeah. So asalkan kalau still sehat lah boleh join Itulah. So korang memang nak sambung career ni sampai habis bila lah Okay so last kali apa harapan korang lah untuk sukan ni Sukan Malaysia, uh, sukan equestrian ni dekat Malaysia pada masa hadapan Mungkin nak tengok lebih banyak uh, orang join mungkin uh, Lagi banyak saingan ke So macam mana? I think better understanding of horse, horse hmm. world in general, the management. I, um, I think it would be nicer more people educate themselves. Because hmm. rather than just you want to join for the sake of joining, hmm. but just you educate yourself first and you know everything before you join. Hmm. Or even just educate yourself before you say it's not a sport or you hmm. laugh at people who do it as a sport. Hmm. Okay, but then it will be good to have more people to join. Yeah. Um and Maria can. Um, okay. Lagi yeah. banyak saya ingat kan. Mm-hmm. Okay, so baiklah. Okay, yang tu saja untuk hari ni. Terima kasih banyak banyak sebab sudi Thank join you. kita orang hari ni. Kita Thank dapat you. banyak info daripada gadis-gadis cantik ni. <laughs> okay, so kepada followers di Hari Malaysia jangan lupa like, subscribe dan share konten kita orang. Okay, bye.